I really enjoyed the Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas. There was one thing in this that I didn't like, and I will talk about that in a moment. But in general, I thought this was really good fun with some really great performances, gorgeous set designs, really brilliant set designs, and the props were fantastic. I'll get in with those in a moment. This was released in 2000. It's directed by Brian Levant, and it's written by Deborah Kaplan, Harry Alfond, Jim Cash, and Jack Epps Jr., with a great cast, including Mark Addy as Fred, Stephen Baldwin as Barney, Christian Johnson as Wilma, and Jane Krakowski as Betty. We also have Joan Collins as Wilma's mother, Pearl. And I really liked Jane Krakowski, so I was really looking forward to this, and I think she really suited the role of Betty really well. I think the casting across the board was really great. And then we have the character of Kazoo, or the great Kazoo, voiced by Alan Cumming. No problems with the voice there, but I really don't like the character. Now, I know the character is from some of the animations. It's not a character created for this film, but I just feel like it felt so pointless and unnecessary. He is an alien. He comes down to Earth to observe the ways of the humans, and it's just, I hated it, to be honest, I hated what the character brought to this, but thankfully he's not necessarily constantly in focus, so I was able to overlook that, but I just thought it was an unnecessary decision. Again, I know he's from some of the classic episodes, but I still didn't think it was a good decision. The rest of it, though, I rather enjoyed. It's all about, or mostly about, Fred getting to know Wilma, realizing that he has feelings for her and trying to find a way to tell her this but there are of course obstacles along the way and we have the Vegas aspect and it got off to an interesting start I don't want to say exactly what happens but it was a really strong start and then it just went on and on from there it's also partly about the new friendship between Wilma and Betty which I really liked seeing we also of course have the friendship between Fred and Barney which is such a joy and I really enjoyed that a lot so definitely the characters are exactly as I would want them to be. The costumes, the costumes are absolutely incredible, particularly Jane Krakowski's. I think hers just looks amazing. The, the colour is perfect. The shape of the dress is perfect. The main blue dress, of course, absolutely loved it. But everybody's costumes were brilliant. We had some amazing costumes for Pearl, Joan Collins's character. She looked absolutely fantastic. The set designs are ridiculous. They're amazing. Whenever I watch a film that has an interesting set design, I always ask myself, how much would I be willing to pay to visit that set design if it still existed? With this one, I'd be willing to pay quite a bit, not just because of the set designs themselves, but also the props. And everything just has a Stone Age twist. One of my favourites is when Joan Collins' character is taking a swig from a hip flask, but it looks like it's made out of stone. And I just, I absolutely loved it. There are so many, so many little things, so much attention to detail. I'd love to know, maybe I could find this out, I don't know, but I'd love to know how much of the budget was spent on the set and on the props because they're absolutely fantastic. And then we have a really great narrative that's got a really great pace. The development is really brilliant. The characters are either really likeable or at least well written if they're a bit more antagonistic. And I honestly can't fault it. That's not to say it's the most perfect film ever. And that's not to say that it's now my all time favorite film. But at the same time, I cannot, apart from the inclusion, of Gazoo, obviously. I, I just don't think that that character was necessary. I don't like the character. I mean, I have nothing wrong with the character. I just don't like anything that the character brings to this. It felt a bit gimmicky, to be honest, almost like they didn't think the film had enough substance without bringing that element in. And I would completely disagree with that. I think the film has so much to offer, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Unfortunately, it only has 3.7 out of 10 on IMDb. And I think that that's an absolutely terrible rating for what I think is a tremendously fun film with a great narrative, really well paced, great narrative structure, great, aside from the gazoo element and what he brought to it, brilliant characters, gorgeous costumes, the sets are just absolutely stunning, and there isn't really anything about it that didn't work. And I thoroughly recommend it. If you're a Flintstones fan, but you've been maybe put off by that low rating or a rating on any other site, please give it a chance and form your own opinion. I'm so glad that I did. I grew up watching the Flintstones. I think I'd seen this 
I didn't have a strong recollection of it, but there were just a few things here and there that gave me kind of a tiny bit of nostalgic memory, but it could just be I'd seen the trailer for it. I don't know, but certainly I couldn't remember it if I had seen much of it. And I adored it. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. Great fun. Great story, fabulous characters, great casting, gorgeous set designs. The props are so much fun. I'd love to know where they are now as well. That would be really interesting to find out. Again, I might find that out with a Google search. The Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas is a really fun film. And if you're a Flintstones fan, I thoroughly recommend it.